Welcome to the Finlandia University International School of Art and Design Spring 2021 Student and Alumni Fashion Show. Thank you all for being here. My name is Ginny Gessler. I'm the coordinator for ISAD and an adjunct instructor in the fiber department. I'm also an alumni of the fiber and fashion program here. I'd like to say a big thank you to our gallery director, Carrie Flashpolar, our dean, Denise Vandeville, Professor Emerita Phyllis Fredendahl, fellow adjunct instructor, Hannah Smith Granis, our maintenance guy, Chris Cornish, marketing and communications, and all of our students and alumni for participating. All of you made this show possible. Thank you. I'm Ramona Kuhn. I'm a ceramics major here at Finlandia. I made these patchwork pants from two pairs of recycled jeans and other found colored fabric here at Judalab. It's important for me to have large pockets because none of my pockets in my pants seem to be large enough. And I'm also carrying a duffel bag I made from recycled plastic shopping bags and recycled denim strips. I had this yellow jumpsuit that I needed to line in order to wear it out. So I lined it with the blue fabric and ended up keeping the blue peeking out of the yellow um, for added detail and visual interest instead of trying to hide it. I fell in love with this burnt orange satin fabric and decided to make bell bottoms from them. It used to be a sample prom dress and now they're pants. I really love overalls and I wanted a fancier look. The orange stripes are part of a roll of trim that I came across six or seven years ago and carried around with me until I found its purpose, which happened to be these overalls. This dress is created from entirely recycled materials from other garments. I always really like these sort of vintage silhouettes and I keep making them every year. I work in an office environment and this pencil skirt really adds a pop of color. It has an elastic waistband so it's super comfortable for me to wear all day. Ramona is a pair of sheer pants, also made from recycled materials. I added a zipper into the sweater to make it a little quirky, just like her. Hi, I'm Riley Burton. I'm a fiber and fashion major at Finlandia University. I had this fabric and I had very little of it, so I did what I could. I made a underbust little corset with some D-rings and matching biker shorts. This was some fabric that has been in the fiber studio for way too long and I loved it. So I turned it into a short sleeve collared open shirt and matching drawstring shorts. This was the top of a prom dress I found and I thought it went well with the yellow. So I added the little green full belt with another D-ring. This is the same green shirt and earrings by freshman nursing student Haley Molina and I made this corset out of an old prom dress and some fabric I found and it matched the green perfectly so thank you for coming to our virtual 2021 fashion show. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Following our blue Kinwoods pieces, the first piece is a blue button-down shirt 
They started with dyeing the base color blue, then over dyed with a darker blue using the pull wrap resist method. The next piece is a Greg Plangy tank. They started with a base color of blue and over dyed with fuchsia using the Plangy method. Next is a scarf woven using a blue yarn gradient for the wrap and magenta yarn weft. And finally is a long coat. The outside of the jacket was made with canvas that was hand dyed red. Then the jacket pattern was cut out and sewn together with a red satin lining. The back patch was created by embroidering black fabric and hand sewn onto the back. Next up we have Kasana Reinenen. The first piece in Kasana's portfolio is the Fire Long Sleeve. This long sleeve shirt was created by using a pull wrap resist high water dye bath. And next we have Stars and Circles tee. This t-shirt was created by using a clamp resist method and a low water immersion bath. The imagery captured was made using found objects. Next up we have Hannah Smith Rannis's fashion show pieces. All the articles of clothing are pre-made and thrifted and then dyed. The first piece is the wedding plangy. Made for a friend, this long sleeve was created using the plangy technique on linen with a single color bath. Next we have the snow dye long sleeve. Using what is bountiful in nature around us during winter months, this shirt was dyed with the aid of snow from our backyards. Included in this outfit is a deep navy colored plangy dyed tank top created using black beans. Next up is a summertime classics. Who doesn't love a basic t-shirt and shorts during the hot months? This outfit was created using a beat up and stained logo tee from Liquid Death Mountain Water that was dyed three times using the low water immersion technique and a pair of denim shorts dyed using the plangy technique. All articles used to be white. And next is laid back vibes. Do your white clothes get destroyed by everyday activities? I know mine do. Here are some prime examples of saving those clothes tank top over dyed using a low water immersion bath and a pair of old Levi jeans dyed using the plangy technique. And finally we have the Cheech Polo. This piece was made using the plangy technique like many other pieces in this collection. However this one is unique because instead of adding color we've subtracted it using a thiox decolorant. <laughs> 